And welcome back. Last time, this guy died. In a very similar matter to the way the DARPA chief died. Probably means something, but let's forget about it for now. And there's a ration hidden back here if you need it. But of course I don't. Because I'm just that pro! I dropped the can on the ground. Okay, so we're now we're back in here, but there's dudes here. So we're gonna have to sneak a bit. But whatever. Let's go get that FAMAS now that we have the level 2 card. And look! It's the cardboard box! But we shouldn't go too quickly because, of course, there's going to be lasers. Because the cardboard box is just that important. We could actually get this earlier in a in the original uh, floor 1 of this building. There's a room with a level 1 card needed. But, eh. It's just easier to get it here. And that means we, what, 20, 30 minutes in between? That's that's nothing. We don't even need it. And most of it's cutscene. Luckily, that guy did not see the door randomly open. But whatever. Just take him out. Grab that ammo. Just leaves one more guard, who honestly we could just avoid altogether, but we might as well grab him, I guess. Hey, I need something to show off the FAMAS with, so might as well just, you know, uh, shoot him in the back a couple times. And there's a nifty, not nifty, what am I from the 50s, a cool thing you can do with the uh, trap doors, and it's just, uh, you can dispose of the bodies with it. Yeah, I mean there's still blood on the ground, but the guards aren't smart enough to notice blood, unless it's yours, so we shouldn't care about that. It's a nice thing, though. I guess. I mean, there's not a lot of trap doors in the game or anything. Let's just go to floor one. Alrighty, so... There was a level two door down here that I didn't really... I don't think I pointed out. Oh, level one, sorry. That's not the level one door with the cardboard box I was talking about. There's another one up on the little, uh, the walkway up there, up the stairs, I guess. I think in the original game, this was a level, no, it, it was a level one door, but I just avoided it. So whatever, this guard occasionally turns around, so we had to wait for him. But anyway, and here is a, oh God, his head, jeez. And here's a SOCOM suppressor, and if we uh, equip that on the item side, and then equip the SOCOM on this side, I guess we attach it. So now we can just shoot things silently. Nice. So now it becomes actually useful for taking out cameras. Which uh, actually helps a lot, because the original game, of course, you had to rely entirely on your chaff supply. Or just sneaking past them yourselves. So, this helps a lot. Now, there's one other soldier in the area I haven't taken out. And well, he just so happen happens to patrol around that area. He's right there. So, but I don't want to take him out because he has the radio on him, and if he doesn't call in with a report, then a bunch of other stronger soldiers are going to come and figure out what's wrong. So I can take him out and do it quickly, which is what I'm going to do. But I have to get out of there as, uh, as quick as possible. And since he's not dead, they won't go into a... I don't think they go into caution mode. He just fell asleep on the job, I guess. But, of course, we're going to have to use chaff. Take out that camera now so I don't have to deal with it. And this room right here is the room where you could get the cardboard box if you went right after you met... Um, right after the DARPA chief died. But who cares? So now I can just run around here, not worrying about any of the soldiers. And just take out this camera for good measure if I can actually hit it. There we go. Might as well just refill our chaff supply. I used one, by the way. And there we go. Status report is late. And well, let's just grab this mine detector. That and I guess as all the soldiers are coming in, 
we do have to contact the um, Meryl. So, once I'm done kicking this door, I guess it's uh, not a better time than any to uh, call her up. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful and compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. 
I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. So if you're wondering where I got that number from, in the original game, you look on the back of the box. Um, shoot. It, for um, this game, it's either on the back of the box again, or it's in the manual. I think it also might be in the manual. So whatever. Uh, I just tap that guy again, because why not? And in there, once you get the level 4 card, if you didn't get the uh, thermal goggles before, you could go back and get it. But that's the level 4 card. Right now, I'm just going to do some uh, grip gauge grinding while Meryl calls us up. There we go. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Nothing here. Oh, okay. So let's go in here and start our infrared adventure. What is it, Meryl? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. <laughs> Okay, so there are multiple ways we can actually see the senders. Um, one's the thermal goggles, one's the uh, cigarettes, and one's hitting the fire extinguisher. So now we could just walk through the sensors, or we can just turn them off by shooting these guys. The glowing things, it's easy enough. It's sort of annoying with the angle you're at, especially in the first game, for dodging them. I mean, in the first game, you don't even have to, like, Put on the thermal goggles or anything. You can just, you can just sort of see them going up and down. But whatever. Let's just go outside to the canyon, I guess. Okay, can't be anything here. Might as well just run out and. Snake, be careful. 
There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Oh. Well, okay. Let's just get that mine detector I got, and oh my god, I'm standing in the middle of it. I'm literally in, like, the one... The one step where it won't blow up. That is fantastic. So yeah, just like... Almost every other MGS besides... I don't know if 4 does it, because I haven't played 4, but... Peace Walker doesn't. You can just crawl over Claymore Mines to pick him up. So whatever. Just pick all of those up, and uh, there's a tank in front of us too. Well, once we pick up this one, if we take one more step after that Claymore Mine, we'll be uh, in the tank's range, so we better watch out. tank fight. Well, that wasn't planned out beforehand. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is throw some chaff, because otherwise the uh, tank will shoot you with its rocket or whatever it's called. So, just get at that out of the way. If you're too, yeah, if you're too far away, then it'll shoot you. So, unlike the first game, once again I'm gonna say it, unlike the first game, where you only shot forward with your uh, guns, uh, you can shoot at an angle, so you can already do that different. And in this game also, I think the first game might have had it, I don't know. You can uh, put down claymores, the claymores you just got, and uh, blow up the treads. And if you blow up enough treads, then the uh, tank can't even move. But the more treads you blow up, the slower it goes. So it's just easier to avoid getting run over, which actually does the most damage. Ow, see? That was just one hit of getting hit by getting hit by the treads and yeah you can't blow up a claymore over a space and if you blow up some treads that have already been blown up then nothing happens so whatever the most annoying thing in the fight is the gun but it's easy enough to dodge if you keep moving so you can go into first person and shoot these guys but usually if you don't get a headshot you're not going to do much damage but, the nice thing about this auto-aim is that if you're on this hill, or a hill over, or if you're on a hill, basically, then you almost always get a headshot when you go and hit the guys, but they have to be out, of course. Don't go into first person, but if you're just there, standing there, then you probably will get a headshot when it auto-aims. Just because of the placement of the soldier and yourself. See? And that does about a third of the damage. Which is nice. 
And the third of it, and the other way to hurt them is to throw grenades. And if you can um get their grenades in their laps, then it does a third of the damage. So it's actually easier to use the guns in this case. See how you like this? Hmm, that's the second time I've heard that guy go row body, so I must have recorded it like that. So the way to get it in their laps is to just throw it from a certain angle and every I, I don't even know how to get it accurately. I know you pro you have to full charge it, meaning you have to hold it a bit for like three seconds. And you also have to be looking at the tank, but otherwise it basically auto aims close or into their lap. If it's close to it, but not actually in their lap, it only does like a sixth of the bar. And that's another thing I always do, I always somehow swing snake for some reason. If it's not, yeah, so if you fully charge it and throw it, then it'll go in their lap, and if you don't fully charge it, but you're looking at them, then you will, then it'll go next to them and blow up and it only does a six. In the original game, it did half your damage, um, the grenade was the only way to do it, and if you got it in their lap, it only did, it did half the damage, so you only had to throw four grenades at least four grenades in the original boss fight. But that's, that's the tank. Easy enough. Is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so. I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Called Snake? Snake, in China they say you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy.